fans were treated to a very intimate look inside Justin and Hailey Bieber's wedding in the latest episode of his YouTube docu-series, Seasons. Now, we actually also heard from the bride herself in this about their not so bumpy road to the altar. It's actually really funny because we got engaged and we were like, yeah, we're not in a rush to plan a wedding. We're chilling. And we wanted to live together. We wanted to move in together. And we didn't believe in doing that until we were married. So we got legally married and then moving in together and living together and getting to share space with each other and just keep learning more about each other. Baby. Baby. Ah. <laughs> just took away all the pressure of the scary part of getting married. I say not so bumpy because everything kind of played out the mm -hmm. way it was supposed to. Uh, but of course, we have learned new, more information about why they waited so long to actually get married. Another factor in that wait to get married, as we've learned from Haley's L magazine cover mm. just last week uh, when it was released, is. Justin's health battles right. that no one knew he was dealing with, obviously, except from a, a select few people in his right. circle, including Haley. She told Elle that now he's perfectly healthy, but going through that and then trying to be like, so where does our wedding fit into this? Didn't feel like the vibe at all. Obviously, he was in and out of uh, the doctor's office, which we've also seen mm -hmm. in his seasons episodes right. as well. Um, dealing with that, yeah, it's, you know, you, when you're going through that type of health yeah. battle in those issues, yeah, planning a wedding is the furthest from your mind. And when you watch this documentary or the docu-series, you realize that when they were finally ready to mm -hmm. move forward with planning the wedding, they could not have been more excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, Haley talks about how even though they got legally married, she always wanted that the wedding yeah. part, especially so that they can actually have those memories and pass them along to their kids. Bring your Pinterest board to life. Exactly, <laughs> right. She brought her Pinterest board to life, but she did admit that she wasn't really a crazy bridezilla. Take a look. I had a, this original idea to do flowers all over the tables, like a little mini garden. He's like, people aren't gonna be able to see each other across the table. You gotta get rid of all of this. He was like, how are we supposed to eat with these flowers in my damn face? I don't even care. Like, I'm so not a bridezilla. Anyone who's working with me for this wedding will tell you the same. <laughs> Cass, I swear, she was so stress-free. And even though you see Justin here kind of like chiming in and giving his two cents I mean, on her, he does some look of the hands details, on there. If you watch the full episode, though, he wasn't that mm -hmm. involved no. in the wedding play. He said it was all Haley. Uh, but you know, he was he was there when she she, mm -hmm. she was he was there for the yes no question. Yes. You know, do you like no the pun intended? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, that's. Do you a, like the flowers yeah. on the table? Do you not? Does this Is this work okay? For you? Yeah. Is this not? But any of the big decisions were left Fair up to fair. not Bridezilla Haley. Exactly. Um, uh, one thing about the season ep seasons episodes, um, you know, opening up about this wedding is that we finally kind of got more information about how he proposed Absolutely. to his now wife. She just walked down the stairs, <laughs> and you were just there. Like, I was there at the ring, and I was shaking. And I was just like, I loved you for so long, and I just can't see myself being with anybody else. I love you so much, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Um, Marry me, and she was just like, Oh my god, I, I know. And that was just one of many, many sweet mm -hmm. moments. If we can go back a little bit, you guys, leading up to the wedding, you saw him get really emotional, mm -hmm. even just touring the venue. He's actually tearing up right here. Uh, and it's and it's something that kind of carried on into the wedding day because then there's a shot on the actual day of the wedding. You see footage of both couples getting ready, but Justin, he is so visibly nervous. Look at mm -hmm. right here, his hands are shaking in the moment leading up to the ceremony. Well, I mean. This it, this has been years in the making for him, and I hate to sound cheesy again and say this, but like he's also someone who's kissed a lot of you right. know frogs to find his princess. <laughs> and yeah, of course you're gonna be you know obviously they already had the the courthouse wedding under their belts yeah. at this point. They were already living together, but still you're in front of your family and friends. It's it's all the anticipation. This is also coming from someone who's not, not married, been, but yeah. like you know you know she's gonna be walking down the aisle, all of it. That, yeah, though, it's right? very emotional. Even if it it was as intimate as they said it was. It was pretty small, mm -hmm. but again, like you mentioned, it's such a big moment. All eyes are on you in a different way than he's used to on yeah. stage. But I bet that all went away when Haley walked down the aisle because you see his reaction. First of all, she looks stunning, right? Do you mm -hmm. remember this wedding gown designed by Virgil Abloh yep. for Off-White? I mean, stunning. she looks incredible. But we finally get to see the moment, you know, she walks down the aisle to her future 
husband. And look at him. Look at him right there. And look, he, did you see how quickly he was blinking? Yeah. I feel like it was because he didn't want the tears to just start streaming down his face. Look, look at the way they look at each other. Wow. I know. And then look when they exchange vows. So when they're exchanging vows in the documentary, you hear Scooter Braun. He says that he has seen a change in Justin mm -hmm. when Haley came into his life and says that she made him a better man. Oh. Yeah. And for the first time, we get to hear Justin's, I'm going to call it attempt, at repeating <laughs> the vowels. Take a look, you guys. Token pledge of our constant faith. In token pledge of our constant faith. In token pledge of our constant faith. Yes. And pledge. And pledge. I'm not gonna lie, I do love that just honest moment right there. Yeah. He's like, in token and pledge, what does that He's like, mean? What does that mean? Am I saying right? I can't remember the words. But you he's can't... probably thinking about a million things at that moment. But don't you feel like, I don't know how many weddings you've been to, but it can get really tense. And sometimes you need that and one quiet. moment. Right, yeah. and it's so quiet. You need that moment of levity. You need a little humor, and it wouldn't be Justin Bieber without a little laugh. And yeah. you know what? After all of that, those serious moments, yes. there was a lot of fun at the wedding, which included a star-studded guest list, you could say. Yeah. I mean, everyone from Kylie Jenner to Kendall Jenner to Jaden Smith to Usher was there. Look at even Stormy. Stormy was there too. It was a jam-packed celebrity wedding, you could say. And Dan and Shay were there. I mean, a lot of people. And their close friends like Jaden and like Kendall were mm -hmm. talking about like how happy they are for them because they're the real deal. I mean, look at them. This is a shot that they shared on Instagram from the reception. Usher, by the way, who of course ushered Justin <laughs> into the limelight. I like At the one point, there. he sang while they were cutting the cake. I mean, everyone got Dan and Shay performed, mm -hmm. of course, but like everyone grabbed the mic, including Mr. Justin Bieber himself, who serenaded Haley mm -hmm. with one less lonely girl, Kathy. This is a storybook wedding. Uh, uh, this is better than the notebook. <laughs> hey, Thank hey, you, seasons. <laughs> hey, he's literally that one less lonely girl. Oh my God. Okay. Well, listen, you guys, we actually sat down with the director of seasons, Michael Ratner, who shared a little bit about what it was like to um, film the wedding mm -hmm. for them, but also gave us a glimpse into what we can expect in future episodes. It's the wedding episode is obviously great and, and it feels um, like a win. If you invest in this documentary, you get to that point and you feel pride and uh, certainly if you're rooting for him as our protagonist yeah which you're like you, you found love yeah yes. you found love and it feels pure and real um but then right after that when we get to episodes nine and ten you've got a brand new album on the way so there's a lot of good stuff happening yeah, yeah, yeah. and i think that you know this is a like you asked me before why now and i think all of these reasons getting married putting out a new album mm -hmm. feeling uh healthy working on yourself yeah. sharing with the world some of the reasons that you may not have felt great before yeah it's pretty exciting stuff. And again, we, we I love, we always refer to him as a man. He's 25. Yeah. So he's much more of a man, but he's, he's still, you know, I think we're all evolving and he's doing a really good job. All I've got to say is I hope we get, continue to get more seasons, episodes, yeah. literally throughout the next few years of their marriage. Maybe I'm, the rest of their lives. Thank maybe you, thank when you so much. Maybe when she's expecting her first child. Who Just knows? Okay, who knows? Just saying. Just saying.